what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be a wwe related video so if you aren't a wwe fan i don't expect you to watch but if you are welcome aboard i don't really do too many wwe videos i know in the past i have stated that i want to try to weave this company and talking about my fandom for the company and just talk start talking about pro wrestling in general on this channel now i might actually need to start jumping on that now more than ever because we just got something i didn't expect to learn about at all during this lifetime at least not this young in my lifetime this has been a part of my childhood for the longest time and now going into my early adulthood i never thought i would be making something like or making a video like this to discuss topics like this that seem to be unconfirmed but i wouldn't be shocked to learn about their legitimacy going into tomorrow now six or eight months ago one of the best things that ever happened to wwe occurred vince mcmahon resigned as chairman of the company shortly afterwards we had what many have been wanting for years myself included and that was a sign of hope or change for the product because paul levesque aka triple h would become head of creative stephanie mcmahon alongside nick Khan would become co-ceos uh for six months we me personally for six months i did see some changes i saw changes in the product i saw long-term booking match cards featuring matches that had actual build up to invest in and not just things thrown together for the sake of the fact that you knew you had a pay-per-view coming up uh michael cole has absolutely been killing it on commentary from what i have been hearing from him ever since this change bray wyatt returned people like johnny gargano came back and so many other signs of improvement and although not everything was just completely fixed with events removal because he did such a bad job for the longest time in his role triple h and his team definitely have done a better job at presenting a sports oriented product that everyone can just simply enjoy now not even a full month into the new year a report came out earlier today that stephanie stephanie mcmahon had announced her resignation from the company via an official statement that she shared on her social media where she stated this about eight months ago i took a leave of absence and within a few weeks unexpectedly had the opportunity of a lifetime i had the privilege to return as the co-ceo and chairman of the board of wwe i cannot put into words how proud i am to have led what i consider to be the greatest company in the world working alongside a remarkable leadership team and one of the strongest executives i have known in my co-ceo nick khan our founder vince mcmahon has returned as executive chair and is leading an exciting process regarding strategic alternatives and with nick's leadership and paul triple h levesque as chief content officer I am confident WWE is in the perfect place to continue to provide unparalleled creative content and drive maximum value for shareholders. WWE is such a strong is in such a strong position that I have decided to return to my leave and take it one step further with my official resignation. I look forward to cheering on WWE from the other side of the business where I started where I was a little kid as a pure fan. I will always remain dedicated to WWE. I truly love our company, our employees, our superstars, and our fans and i am grateful to all of our partners now this was what many thought would be the most shocking news of the day by the time this is uploaded probably be midnight past midnight on wednesday this is what many people thought would be the most shocking news of the day because i believe just this past friday she led a meeting assuring people that things wouldn't change like no big changes were going to come like creatively but then this happens so then the real big deal of the day so far is the reports that wwe has reportedly been officially sold to Saudi Arabia and will be going private. This report seemingly began thanks to the Kermit user over on Reddit who has had scoops in the past that were correct related to WWE. Wrestling Inc. I saw picking up on it. No DQ is picking up on it. Just a shout out a few of those outlets I'm aware of. But I want to recognize that WWE hasn't officially made any sort of statement about this. So all eyes are on Wednesday. And what the hell will go down today? So like, let me just say this. Vince McMahon might be the most annoying person of the year, and the year has just started. This man isn't able to just let go in peace, and even when he was removed, it wasn't because Vince wanted to go. It was mostly because, well, we know what it was. I'm not going to get into that. Most of us, myself included, again, with this, we didn't care how, how he was being removed. It was just something we were glad finally happened because vince has been so bad and detrimental to the product for so long vince intended to hold on to that power until he died and thus proving every single word from punk punk's pipe bomb in 2011 to be true this on the service to me is just not not good at all absolutely not if if it's true that's just years 
of just memories i would say tossed down the toilet i have no hopes if this is true that anything is anything positive for the fans is going to come from this i have no high hopes of that at all if anything the the person who benefits the most from this would be the person who only cares about himself the most and that is vince mcmahon uh I'm certain there will be walkouts if this is true. Something tells me this will, there will be walkouts. I'm probably being overly dramatic just because I cannot believe a report like this is out here. But so much is uncertain as we speak. And I believe this is true because Stephanie's resignation makes a lot more sense. I'd imagine Triple H is probably next because we all know Vince couldn't stand what Hunter was doing with NXT in its glory days. So he killed that when the, when the uh, black and gold brand couldn't dethrone AEW during that pathetic Wednesday Night Wars they tried to have. Speaking of AEW, I'm more than thankful right now for someone like Tony Khan because he seems to be an actual wrestling fan vince has just grown into this greedy narcissist who just couldn't let things go so he's willing to sink the ship completely and just screw everyone else in the process people talk about how wrong it was for jeff hardy to leave the company the way he did last year or how mercedes and naomi walking out was wrong on their part no let me tell you what's wrong the fact that vince mcmahon thinks he's competent enough to still be running this company that's what's wrong that's what people should be outraged about I'm at a loss for words because I, again, as I mentioned, I grew up with this product and I remained patient over the years. My weekly viewings died down, but I continue to stay up to date every week. Even when I miss an episode of Raw or SmackDown, I still had an understanding of what was happening. Those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know I am a big wrestling fan. I am a big fan of the WWE. I watch the pay-per-views. I watch Raw and SmackDown. Again, as I was getting older and as I as I more, more or less continued to see the product just dwindle down into just an abysmal mess, my weekly viewership did start to swindle. I started turning on AEW more frequently. I did start turning to other alternatives for my wrestling fix for the week because WWE has been in such a bad state of affairs. It's not that they didn't have their highlights because, again, there have been some strong moments of the product thus far over the past, I would say, three years. This Recently, it's been Roman Reigns and what's going on with Roman Reigns. Sami Zayn, who I am certain would walk out if this is true. So hopefully we get some clarity on all of this going into Wednesday and hopefully... <laughs> I mean, I I want to be positive, but I, I don't know how to be positive about something like this if it's true. I just I just don't. I cannot stand Vince McMahon. I cannot stand how he just couldn't let things be because he's so he's so envious of how the company could be ran better if it's not ran by him. And he doesn't want to see that. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you have already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and this video in the description. I have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.